It was a chilling, heartbreaking discovery made by a mother searching for her daughter. November 29th, the mother of 22-year-old Tessa Ritchie found her daughter's lifeless body in that stairwell right behind me here, just off of Church Street. She had been missing for four days. Today, City News broke the story that two Toronto police officers have been charged under the Police Services Act. And today's here at today's hearing, Toronto Police Constables Michael Jones and Alan McCullough sat with their heads down, only speaking to spell their names. It's alleged that the officers learned of Richie's last known location, but that they did not search the adjoining property, canvassing the neighborhood or notify a supervisory officer of the details. Richie's death sparked questions about how investigators had handled her disappearance amid wider concerns about several men who went missing from Toronto's LGBTQ community. How tragic it is for that mom um, to find her daughter in this way, especially after engaging the police or anything. If they didn't engage the police and they looked for themselves and they found it, then that's another thing. But they did engage the police. They they were not too far away from, from where Tessa laid, and that's tragic. You find this a uh, systemic issue? Absolutely. We have a broken system. We have a broken police system and a justice system, and uh, it... And, we can only find ways to repair and move forward. We're not going to get rid of the police, uh, but we will. We can certainly find ways to work with them. Um, it's unfortunate these tragedies do have to happen for them to to pay attention. After hearing today's news, one of Tessa Ritchie's sisters, Lorena, sent us this message saying in part, it was clear that my mom should not have had to travel from North Bay to find her daughter in the same area that she was reported missing in. We also shouldn't have had to deal with the subsequent allegations surrounding Tessie's death. The homicide team were great when they took over, and at least they are trying to ensure no other family has to go through what mine did when a loved one is the victim of murder. The president of the Toronto Police Association has a much different take on the charges. I know these uh, two officers personally. They're responsible, dedicated senior uh, police constables, and we believe that they did their job. The allegations are, though, that they didn't, uh, they didn't properly search the area. They didn't notify superiors of details that they had learned. Right. I, I mean, those are allegations. Should a mother, though, ever have to find her daughter's body in a stairwell when Never. police are investigating a missing person's Never. case? Never. And, it, it, you know, that is a tragedy. And our hearts and our prayers go out to the family and uh, to Tess and her family. Um, but that's not what this is about. This is about, about uh, saying that these officers, when they check the address uh, did not do what they were required to do but we haven't seen the disclosure around that but what we do know is that these officers did their job they did check the address uh, and they're not responsible for not finding tests now as a member of the Toronto Police Service Board Mayor John Tory couldn't comment directly on today's hearing though he did say that he hopes it serves as some sort of comfort for people knowing that police officers and their actions in the field are being examined. I'm glad for the sake of those families, for the sake of the uh, communities involved, that uh, they can see that there is a process that is being followed. I'm glad that the system is working as people would expect it to work and uh, the results of that process will be known uh, in the future. Mike, Mo Mike McCormick, who you just heard from, says he supports the Chief's internal review looking at how missing persons cases are handled in Toronto. He does not support an external review, which is coming up in front of the Police Service Board.